Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the first alert brand, their model SA511 CM2-3ST. It's a wireless interconnected smoke alarm with voice location, battery operated two pack. It includes the batteries according to this. Each one takes two AA batteries. It comes in this nice package and uh, displaying the product nicely. Um, this helps keep your family safe. These battery operated smoke alarms wirelessly interconnect with each other and other first alert enabled alarms that all sound when one is activated creating a home safety network comes in two pack as you can see it's a voice alarm with 11 programmable locations tells you where the danger is so you can choose the best evacuation route it's loud 85 decibel sirens built into it it's equipped with photoelectric smoke sensors optimized to detect larger smoke particles produced by smoldering fires Helps minimize the number of false alarms. This requires no wiring or rewiring of your house because it just uses the Polaroid AA batteries for best results. You can wirelessly connect up to 18 of these units and they'll all trigger the other ones and it'll tell which one is triggering. So if you had 18 of these, one of these you had set up so that a kitchen was in the fire, the other ones will go off and they'll tell you that the kitchen was in the fire. So First Alert, the, the company has been trusted brand since 1958 and they get win awards all the time for their customer service and support. So it's a good company to buy from. Now I'm going to be using this in my garage. One of these in the garage and one of these in our bedroom because I have an electric vehicle that I just purchased and I want to have something that won't be triggered with gasoline fumes or internal combustion fumes because I'm sharing the garage with the ICE vehicle. So I read this is the best thing to do because this will work with smoldering smoke which is what happens with lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries in an electric vehicle. So here it comes with the two units and it has the four uh, AA batteries. It comes with a quick installation guide and a complete manual. So here's the alarms themselves and on the back it has where you mount. You have different options where to put your mounting screws and you never want to paint smoke detectors and this locks in place just like that. And then there's labels in the back where you're supposed to put your uh, installed on. I think this has a 10 year life expectancy. Use one of these. So the instructions say to first install the batteries on one of the units. I'm going to do that. So I actually put the batteries in wrong. And what's nice is there's these push tabs on the back to allow you to release the battery. Just like that. So I was looking at it incorrectly. So it has a battery symbol and it has the minus. So the minus goes up on the right and then it shows the plus going in that way. It shows the whole battery. I was doing it wrong. Then you push this in. So that was the test button. Now let's see how we can do the programming. So I have the batteries pull out again. Let's try this again. Welcome. First alert, smoke alarm. No location programmed. To select location, press and hold the test button now. To save location, press and hold the test button after location is heard. Basement. Basement location saved. Press and hold the test button to test here. Now the directions say to take the second alarm, install the batteries. It says do not close the drawer. Press and hold the test button and then close the battery drawer. So we're going to press and hold this button, then close the battery drawer. I'm 
Once you hear the cheep or the chirp, release the button. The green LED will start to blink. That's blinking. So now it says to test it, hold this button on this one. So now they're synchronized up and they're transmitting to each other. So if I hit the test button, it should say warning smoke in basement on both of the units. Either one could trigger it. So let's try that. Testing. Testing. So first it said testing here, then it's testing there. So you can see it went smoke in basement, smoke in basement. It both synchronized the two, alerting me that there's smoke in the basement. Now for me, basement is going to be the garage. So here's my electric car that we have in my garage. I'm sure I get with my other car right here, which is gasoline driven. And the best location would be somewhere in the center of the ceiling. And because this car is going to be parked here, I want to put it more towards the side where this car is and I ended up putting it here which is four feet from the edge there which is fine and the reason I did that is because in the winter time the cold it gets colder the closer you go to the garage door that's just a natural phenomenon that's going to happen and these alarms don't work accurately below 40 degrees Fahrenheit so it's a compromise by being relatively closer the heat's going to rise you're going to get lost right there and hopefully that area will be 40 degrees or more even in the winter time but if i put it back here it's definitely going to be cold in the winter time so that's my compromise so here i have it mounted in a cabinet that's in our bedroom that could alert us when we're sleeping if a Fire breaks out in the garage. I'm going to hit the uh, test button here. Testing. So what do I think about the first alert brand of model SA511 CN2-3ST. This is their wireless interconnected smoke alarm with voice location, battery operated two pack. Well, I got them programmed pretty easily, but just getting them uh, set up was quite easy. And that's basically the most important part of this. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.